Hi, my name is Ted O'Connell, and I'm the author of USMLE Step 2 Secrets. This is part one of the biostatistics chapter. Let's get started. How is the sensitivity of a test defined? What are highly sensitive tests used for clinically? Sensitivity is defined as the ability of a test to detect disease. Mathematically, the number of true positives divided by the number of people with the disease. Tests with high sensitivity are used for disease screening. False positive results occur, but the test does not miss many people with the disease, thus has a low false negative rate. How is the specificity of a test defined? What are highly specific tests used for clinically? Specificity is defined as the ability of a test to detect health or non-disease. Mathematically, the number of true negatives divided by the number of people without the disease. Tests with high specificity are used for disease confirmation. False negative results occur, but the test does not call anyone sick who is actually healthy. It has a low false positive rate. The ideal confirmatory test must have high sensitivity and high specificity. Otherwise, people with the disease may be called healthy. Explain the concept of a trade-off between sensitivity and specificity. The trade-off between sensitivity and specificity is a classic statistics question. For example, you should understand how changing the cutoff glucose value in screening for diabetes, or changing the value of any of several screening tests, will change the number of true and false negatives as well as true and false positive results. If the cutoff glucose value is raised, fewer people will be called diabetic. There will be more false negative results and fewer false positive results. Whereas if the cutoff glucose value is lowered, more people will be called diabetic. Fewer false negative results and more false positive results. Define positive predictive value, or PPV. On what does it depend? When a test is positive for disease, the, the positive predictive value measures how likely it is that the patient has the disease, the probability of having a condition given a positive test. PPV is calculated mathematically by dividing the number of true positive results by the total number of people with a positive test. PPV depends on the prevalence of a disease. The higher the prevalence, the higher the PPV and the sensitivity and specificity of the test. For example, an overly sensitive test that gives more false positive results has a lower PPV. Define negative predictive value, or NPV. On what does it depend? When a test comes back negative for disease, the NPV measures how likely it is that the patient is healthy and does not have the disease, the probability of not having a condition given a negative test. It is calculated mathematically by dividing the number of true negative results by the total number of people with a negative test. NPV also depends on the prevalence of the disease and the sensitivity and specificity of the test. The higher the prevalence, the lower the NPV. In addition, an overly sensitive test with lots of false positive results makes the NPV higher. Define attributable risk. How is it measured? Attributable risk is the number of cases of a disease attributable to one risk factor. In other words, the amount by which the incidence of a condition is expected to decrease if the risk factor in question is removed. For example, if the incidence rate of lung cancer is 1 out of 100 in the general population and 10 out of 100 in smokers, the attributable risk of smoking in causing lung cancer is 9 out of 100, assuming a properly matched control. Develop the habit of drawing a 2x2 two two table for Step 2 statistics questions. Give the, given the 2x2 two two table seen here, define the formulas for calculating the following test values. Sensitivity. Sensitivity is A over the sum of A plus C. Specificity is D over the sum of B plus D. Positive predictive value is A over the sum of A plus B. Negative predictive value is D over the sum of C plus D. Odds ratio 
is A times D divided by B times C. Relative risk is A over the sum of A plus B and that entirety divided by C over C plus D. Attributable risk is A over A plus B divided by C divided by C plus D. Define relative risk. From what type of studies can it be calculated? Relative risk compares the disease risk in people exposed to a certain factor with the disease risk in people who have not been exposed to the factor in question. Relative risk can be calculated only after prospective or experimental studies. It cannot be calculated from retrospective data. If a step two question asks you to calculate the relative risk from retrospective data, the answer is cannot be calculated or none of the above. What is the clinically significant value for relative risk? Any value for relative risk other than one is clinically significant. For example, if the relative risk is 1.5, a person is 1.5 times more likely to develop a condition if exposed to the factor in question. If the relative risk is 0.5, the person is only half as likely to develop the condition when exposed to the factor. In other words, the factor protects the person from developing the disease. Define odds ratio. From what type of studies is it calculated? Odds ratio attempts to estimate relative risk with retrospective studies, for example, case control studies. An odds ratio compares the incidence of disease in persons exposed to the factor and the incidence of disease of non-disease in persons not exposed to the factor with the incidence of disease in persons unexposed to the factor and the incidence of non-disease in persons exposed to the factor to see whether there is a difference between the two. As with relative risk, values other than one are significant. The odds ratio is a less than perfect way to estimate relative risk, which can be calculated only from prospective or experimental studies. What do you need to know about uh, define, excuse me, define mean, median, and mode? The mean is the average value, the median is the middle value, and the mode is the most common value. A question may give you several numbers and ask you for their mean, median, and mode. For example, if the question gives you the numbers 2, 2, 4, and 8, the mean is the average of the four numbers, and the result would be 4. The median is the middle value. Because there are four numbers, there is no true middle value. Therefore, take the average between the two middle numbers, which were 2 and 4. Therefore, the median is 3. The mode is 2 because the number appears, the number 2 appears twice, more times than any other value. Remember that in a normal distribution, mean equals median equals mode. What is a skewed distribution? How does it affect mean, median, and mode? A skewed distribution implies that the distribution is not normal. In other words, the data do not conform to a perfect bell-shaped curve. Positive skew in an asymmetric distribution with an excess of high values. In other words, the tail of the curve is on the right and the mean is greater than the median is greater than the mode. Negative skew is an asymmetric distribution with an excess of low values. In other words, the tail of the curve is on the left. Mean is less than median is less than mode. Because they are not normal distributions, standard deviation and mean are less meaningful values. Define test reliability. How is it related to precision? What reduces reliability? Practically speaking, the reliability of a test is synonymous with its precision. Reliability measures the reproducibility and consistency of a test. For example, if the test has good inter-rater reliability, the person taking the test will get the same score if two different people administer the same test. Random error reduces reliability and precision. 
For example, limitation in significant figures. Define test validity. How is it related to accuracy? What reduces validity? Practically speaking, the validity of a test is synonymous with its accuracy. Validity measures the trueness of measurement. In other words, whether the test measures what it claims to measure. For example, if you give a valid IQ test to a genius, the test should not indicate that he or she is mentally challenged. Systematic error reduces validity and accuracy. For example, when the equipment is miscalibrated. Define correlation coefficient. What is the range of its values? A correlation coefficient measures to what degree two var variables are related. The value of the correlation coefficient ranges from minus 1 to positive 1. True or false, a correlation efficient of negative 0.6 is a stronger correlation coefficient than positive 0.4. True, the important factor in determining the strength of the relationship between the two variables is the distance of the value from 0. A 0 correlation equals no association whatsoever. The two variables are totally unrelated. Positive 1 equals a perfect positive correlation. When one variable increases, so does the other. Whereas negative 1 equals a perfect negative correlation. When one variable increases, the other decreases. Therefore, use the absolute value to give you the strength of the correlation. For example, minus 0.3 is equal to positive 0.3. Define confidence inter interval. Why is it used? When you take a set of data from a subset of the population and calculate its mean, you want to say that it is equivalent to the mean of the whole population. However, the two means are usually not exactly equal. A confidence interval of 95%, the value used in most medical literature before data are accepted by the medical community, says that you are 95% confident that the mean of the entire population is within a certain range, usually two standard deviations of your experimental or derived mean, calculated from the subset of the population that you examined. For example, if you sample the heart rate of 100 people and calculate a mean of 80 beats per minute and a standard deviation of 2, your confidence interval, also known as confidence limits, is written as 76 is less than x is less than 84 equals 0 0.95. In other words, you are 95% certain that the mean heart rate of the whole population, x, is between 76 and 84 within two standard deviations of the mean. That's the end of part one of the biostatistics chapter. Please join us next time for part two of biostatistics.